Amen, amen. Bilang pastor po ninyo, I cannot believe I'm now 43 years old. I really cannot believe. When I check myself onto the, onto the mirror, I still feel that I'm that 16 year old many years ago. Oh my God, oh my God. When reality hits you, oh, I'm already, I'm already 43. Uh, okay, I'm very happy to see you this morning. But you know what? The happiest, the happiest person to see you around today in this house is God Himself. Amen? Let's have a good celebration today. I would like us to all stand up and then hug somebody, shake someone's hand. Okay, especially to those that are regularly in church already. Go to those who, you know, are not coming that often or I mean especially our guests let them feel that they are welcome okay amen amen tell someone tell people tell others go three to five persons tell them I love you with the love of the Lord or maybe the appropriate word is welcome to the house of God amen amen and let's remain standing for the reading of the word okay something real and very special to all of us today. I would like to entitle the message this morning. This is the word of the Lord. Obviously God would like to inspire and transmit us life and encourage us. By the way, there are many of us feeling down today. You are just hiding your pain through your smile. Inspired you this morning. God would like to encourage you and God wants to transmit life to you today. And I would like to uh, bring us to our attention. The message of God today is, I uh, would like to entitle them as Praise on, for the battle is on your favor. Natinan ko na po yung diksyonaryo eh, yung Biblia. Hindi po ako nagkakita ng salita para sa iyo at para sa akin kasi mahal tayo ng Panginoon eh. Ang mas, mas malaki kasi hindi yung pag-ibig natin kay God. Ang mas malaki po ang pag-ibig ni God para sa atin. Kayo ba naniniwala nun? Amen. Amen? At nabasa ko na po ang salita ng Panginoon. Eh. Sabi po ng Lord, nothing in this world can defeat you now. Amen. Nothing in this world can separate you from the love of Christ. Sabi po ng Biblia, you are more than conquerors. Amen. So I would like, wow, I'm very excited to deliver to us the Word of God. Uh, quickly, I'd like us to go from 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 1 to 8. And then, mag-skip po tayo, at 15 hanggang at 16. Obviously, I would like to relate to us one of the accounts of this great prophet in the Old Testament. Ang pangalan po niya, sikat na sikat po siya kasi bukang bibig po yun palagi. Ang pangalan po niya si Elias. Sa English po ay si Elijah. Okay? Sige po, magsishare tayo ng Bible. Diyan po siya, uh, I'm going to relate to us what happened to that guy. He was under a juniper tree ba yun? Tapos yung kanyang, kanyang dito, balikat, nakaganon. At saka, sabi pa ni si Studelia, pag na-discourage daw tayo, nagmumukhang kabayo daw tayo. No? Nag-i-elongate yung, uh, yung mga mukha po natin. Sige, basahin po natin, 1 Kings 19, 1-8. And then we skip down, going through 15 and 16. Here we go. Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah has done. And now he has killed all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah saying, so may the gods do to me, and more also, if I do not make your life as the life of one of them by this time tomorrow. He was afraid, and he arose, and ran for his life, and came to Beersheba, which belongs to Judah, and left his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness, and came and sat down under a broom tree, a broom tree palayon. And he asked that he might die, saying, It is enough! Now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am no better than my father's. And he lay down and slept under a broom tree. And behold, an angel touched him down and said to him, 
Arise and eat. And he looked, and behold, there was at his head a cake, baked on hot stones and a jar of water. And he ate and drank and lay down again. And the angel of the Lord came again a second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, for the journey is too great for you. And he arose and ate and drank and went in the, and went in the strength of that food forty days and forty nights to Horeb, the mount of God. And the Lord said to him, Go return. This is now 15. Okay? You follow me? Verse 15. And the Lord said to him, Go return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus. And when you arrive, you shall anoint Hazael to be king over, East, over Syria. And Jehu, the son of Nimshi, you shall anoint to be king over Israel. And Elisha, the son of Shaphat, of abel Mehullah, you shall anoint to be prophet in your place. God bless the reading of His Word. Kumit po na tayo sa ating mga sarili na sa Panginoon. I-invite po natin ang touch ng Diyos. Sige po, manalangin po tayo, Panginoon. Marami pong salamat sa pagdala mo po ninyo sa amin ngayong umangang to. Kami po'y naniniwala. Warning to all of us. I'm not going to scare you or mad you or what in my presentation, but I will have, I'll have to be, uh, be very categorical to what I receive and I heard from God. The message of God for us this morning will be a sort of a warning. God would like to remind us. Now here we go. Anytime God eh, to what the Lord entrusted into our lives, we never must turn our backs around Amen. and throw our towel. Hello, are you there? Amen. Ulitin ko po. Is, ang gusto kong ipaabot ng Panginoon po sa atin ngayong umagang ito is pinaalalanan tayo ng Diyos na ano ka ni yung pinanalig niya sa isang isang buhay po natin. Tama ko yung Tagalog ko? What He entrusted to us. Everybody says, what He entrusted to me. Hindi natin yung tatalikuran, hindi natin yung iiwanan. At saka po, ano yung hinahawakan po natin, yung anointing, ano ba yung ini-entrust ng Panginoon na sadya lang bibitawan po natin at sasabihan po natin, wala lang, I just call it off. God would like to warn us not to do such. Now, ano yung ini-entrust ng Panginoon? Foremost to that is, kasi isa't isang buhay po natin, may, may mga misyon po tayo eh. Ang tawag nito po ay ministry. Hello? Amen. Hindi ka siguro pastor, hindi ka siguro isang leader ng simbahan, pero ipinanganak ka dito sa mundo po na may misyon ikaw. Amen. May work na binibigay si Lord sa'yo, na ikaw lang ang makafulfill. Ini-entrust niya ng Diyos sa'yo eh. Ang tawag niya ministry. Huwag mo yung talikuran, kapatid. Huwag mo yung bibitawan. Kahit ano pong mangyayari. I'm going to share to us in a while na si Satan din mismo, gumagawa din siya, yung kaaway po natin. By the way, yung kaaway pala natin, hindi yung kapitbahay natin, ha? Amen. Oh, hindi yung kaaway po natin, hindi yung nagugulit natin sa eskwela o yung kasama natin sa opisina na kinikritisize po tayo. Ang kaaway po natin, past beyond, is yung nag sa ating souls doon sa presensya ng Diyos. Now, ginagawa at gagawa at gagawa sa lang lahat ng makakaya niya na tayo po'y makahinto na hindi po natin kayang gawin ano yung ipipapagawa ng Diyos sa buhay po natin. Kasi alam na alam ng kaaway po natin na kinakasihan talaga tayo ng grace ng Panginoon na kakayanin po natin ng lahat. Kahit po gaano po kahirap, makaya po natin, kakayanin po natin. Because we can make it no through our human strength, we can do it and we can make it by the grace of God. Palakpakan na natin si Lord. Sa huyon, yung ministry po. Another, uh, these are the stewardship. Alam ba ninyo na lahat na meron tayo ngayon, stewardship ito galing sa Diyos eh. Anything, yung mga blessings na tinatanggap po natin, uh, starting from education to business, 
uh, ano ba, relationship, uh, connections, you name it. The number will go limitless. Iti po'y hindi dumating sa buhay mo na basta, basta lang isang coincidente or accident lang. Ito po'y uh, the Lord will this to come in your life for a reason and for a purpose. God doesn't want us to turn our backs around to what the Lord entrusted, I mean, to this to these stewardships, that He wants us that in as much na we can bring this into the other side and we can fulfill what He wanted us, what He will for us in this stewardship. And more, more of all, ladies and gentlemen, yun na nga, uh, wag natin talikuran yung ministry po natin, wag pong talikuran po natin yung, uh, yung stewardship po natin. At ang pangatlo po mga kapatid, this is common to everyone yung mga panaginip na lilagay ng Panginoon sa isa't isang puso ko natin. Huwag natin yung talikuran, kapatid. Huwag tayo pong magsusurrender at sabihan po natin ang ating sarili. Yung panaginip, yung dream, yung ambition na nilagay ni Lord sa yung puso noon, many years ago, five years ago, three years ago, hindi na yun mangyayari. Kalimutan mo na yun. Huwag ko yung gawin. God would like to warn you and me. Now, I would like you, I would like to lead you right away to this great man in the Bible. Ang pangalan po niya si Elijah. Alam po ninyo, including the Lord Jesus Christ, lahat po ng mga tao na pinanganak dito sa mundo, lahat po ay namamatay. Hello, amen? Pero ang promise po ng Panginoon, sino yung nanalig kay Jesus Christo, magkaroon po ng buhay na walang hanggan. Ang promise nga ng Diyos eh, bibigyan tayo yan ng resurrection. May tao pa ho doon. Oo oh, yan. Pero may mga bukod tanging mga tao po sa istorya ng creation mga kapatid na hindi po sila dalwa nakaranas po ng kamatayan. Kung baga, sila po yung nag-translate kaagad into the glory na hindi po sila dumaan sa grave. Ibig sabihin yung katawang tao po nila, katawang laman po nila, sa isang iglap mata, nag-translate ito bilang heavenly, bilang immortal. Ang una po, pagkikita po natin sa Genesis, sa kanyang pangalan po, si Eno. Because he walked with God and he was perfect and he was righteous, the Bible said God took him away. He never experienced death. You may be asking, how did it happen, Pastor? I don't know. Basta, naniniwala ako sapagkat ang Diyos ang gumawa nun eh. Amen. <laughs> Dami talaga nating question, no? Pag ang Diyos po'y mamusap po sa atin, ang tanong po natin is, paano kaya yan mangyayari? Ikaw, tingin sa buhay mo, gano'ng kakababa? Pagsabihan ka ni Lord, ibibless ko yung buhay mo, paano kaya yan mangyayari? Di ba? Dami po nating tanong. Ang pangalwa po, si Elias. Kaiba po, bukutanin po kanya yung experience sapagkat he became discouraged. Kaya sabi ko kanina eh. Dahil sa kanyang discouragements, sabi mo yan sa Panginoon, hindi ko na kaya Panginoon, ano yung inintrust mo sa akin? Yung ministry, yung stewardship, at saka dream mo sa puso ko. Ang dream kasi po ni Elijah, Elijah na magkaroon ko ng transformation ang bansang Israel na hindi na po sila magsamba sa Diyos-Diyosan. Di ba naalala po niya, ninyo, yung katapusan po na before po na discarded po si Eli, Eli, Elias, sabi niya, I'm going to kill all of the prophets, the false prophets, and the priests of Baal, yung Diyos-Diyosan. And he said, and he believed inside his heart, wow, may revival po sa Israel. Hindi po yung nangyari. I, want, I would like to remind or one you rather, pag ano ganit ini-expect po natin sa buhay po natin na hindi po nangyayari, huwag ka agad ma-discourage. Amen? May tao pa ho dyan? Sabihan po doon yung katabi mo. Sabihan mo, if the unexpected happens, don't be discouraged. Sabihan mo yung katabi mo. <laughs> diba? Meron kasi tayong mga set of orders para sa sarili po natin. Na minsan hindi natin alam na ang plano pala natin ay hindi yung plano ng Diyos. Ang plano ng Diyos ang palagi pong magsusustain. 
the, the plans of the Lord will always be the ones that will happen, not ours. So, parang yung plans po natin ay, ano yun? Uh, subjected to fail. Nangyari ho yun kay Elijah, na na Elijah, na discouraged po siya. And I would like to present to us about this message. We need to be very careful on that. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to be very careful on discouragements. Why? Because God may be bound to fly. God may be God may be bound to find a replacement of you. Wala, wala, pong, wala pong ibang tao na pwede makagawa sa anong misyon na binigay ng Panginoon sa buhay mo. But be very, be very careful. Sapagat pag wala na pong magawa ang Diyos, sapagat very, very discouraged na talaga tayo, God has no other choice but to find a replacement. Dahil po, gaya po ni ano, Elijah, he was extremely discouraged and he was already willing to give up. Hindi po siya nag-backslide. Okay, yun po isa sa mga bagay na dapat kong i-establish uh, po dito. Si Elias, Elijah, nung siya na-discouraged, siya na-give up sa ministry, hindi po siya nag-backslide. Hindi po siya bumalik sa dating buhay po niya. In fact, siya po'y na-rapture eh. Sabi ng Panginoon, okay, discouraged na discouraged ka na talaga, wala na akong magawa doon eh. Ang Diyos kasi becomes limited when we say no already. Meron kasi isang, isang sacred na bagay na nasa buhay po natin that God cannot just interfere or go beyond or desecrate. And that is our will. Si Lord hindi po makadictate po sa atin. God will only give us conviction and guidance. When we say no, God cannot twist us. God cannot turn our necks around and say, you will have to say yes. Turn your no to be yes. Ha? Ha? Hindi ganon ang Diyos po natin. Hello, are you there? Amen. Si Elijah, nangyari po yun. Discouraged the discouraged po siya. Sabi niya, Panginoon, hindi ko na kaya. Yung mga tatay, yung ano, yung, he said, my fathers, ibig sabihin ito, my forebears, they fail. Pati ako, pariho sa kanila, I'm also a failure. Lord, I'm calling, I'm calling it off. Foul, foul time, di ba, sa basketball? Di ba, nai-injure tayo. Replacement. Mayroon ba? Hilot na, hilot. Idala nila ito sa ilang mga hilot. Kiwa namin. Okay, na, nahulog, no? Naana ang tiil. Bigubag, maayo ang tiil. <laughs> So, uh, ano tawag nun? Uh, I am undisposable. I'll, I need a replacement. Now, makikita po natin dito, si Elijah was very, very important to the plan of God. Sabihan mo daw yung katabi mo, ilag ilagay mo yung kamay mo sa balikat na yung kasama mo, you smile, sabi mo, importante ka, paano yun sa Tagalog? Importante ka sa plano ng Diyos. Amen. Dino, you know, nung ni-replace po ng Diyos si Elijah, hindi po isang tao lang ang ni-replace ng Diyos. Sabi po sa pinasa po natin kanina, God replaced three people for a one man. Ganun ikaw. Pag ikaw po ay madidiscarage, ano yung in-interest ni Lord sa'yo? Madidiscourage ikaw at saka mag-give up ikaw sa ano yung in-trust ni Lord sa'yo? Si Lord will have to find, I don't know how many. Tato ba? Lima ba? Kaya nga po mga kapatid, you cannot fail. Yes, of course, you cannot fail God. You cannot fail others. Listen to me. You cannot fail yourself. <laughs> Are you still there? Amen? Palagpangan doon natin si Lord. Nung dearness, talagang hindi ko na ma, ano eh, ma, mamumove yung oras, yung maibalik ang oras pa. Kasi iba na pala ang feeling, no? 
Pag ikaw po ay 43, birthday ko kasi nasa 13. <laughs> Hindi ako naniniwala yung mga Friday 13. Ang alam ko lang palagi, araw-araw, binibless tayo ni Lord. Wala akong Friday, Friday 13 sa atin. Eh. <laughs> binibless tayo. Hindi po sapagkat exceptional tayo. Ang sekreto po kasi natin, si Lord is in our lives. Nakikita kasi ng Diyos Ama sa atin ay ang kanyang anak na nasa puso po natin. Na we had we had activities no. Uh, last last Friday, busy din ako. Ah, uh, ito. Somebody treated us. And we we ate out doon kami sa labas. Ah, uh, sino gusto ko? Pag gabi kasi hindi na ako masyadong kumakain at tiviki. Eh paano? Nung nagsimula akong 40, marami na talaga inisip ko na dapat iwasan. Pag isang taon na pala na hindi talaga ako kumakain ng baboy. Hindi ko sapagkat naging uh, sabadista ako o nag-change ako ng pananampalataya. Hindi po eh. Basta lang. Kasi ang paniniwala ko, ano yun, hindi yun healthy para sa katawan ko natin. Pagkabi po, hindi ko talaga sinisad na ng marami yung chat ko. Pero, except noong Friday, busog na busog talaga ako. Doon kami sa Paseo Del Mar. Hindi na kasi ako palaging pumunta doon. Uh, may mga panahon lang talaga yung mga special days. Ayun, kumakain kami. Kaya nakalimutan ko at i-BP, Kuya Noli na. Pakisabi sa Inati Virgin. Uwi kami mga 9.30. Malapit na mga alas 10. Tsaka malakas yung hangin, ano po? Tsaka umulan. Bago po ako natulog, when the lights were off, and I started to pray to God. Prayer ko sa Panginoon, Lord, I am renewing my my commitment. I'm renewing my... Uh, hindi yung kontrata eh. Kasi pag magsabi ka yes sa Panginoon, it's for a lifetime, amen? Amen. Ang pagsunod mo sa Panginoon ay hindi lang hanggang 10 taon. Ang pagsunod mo kay Lord, hindi lang hanggang 40 years old ikaw. Ang pagsunod mo sa Panginoon is hanggang ano yun, buong buhay yun. At saka kahit na dun sa kalawang buhay, susunod po tayo sa Panginoon. Pray, pray ako kay Lord, sabi ko, God, madami na pong mga prayers sa buhay ko na tinupad mo na. Inisip ko si Eya, inisip ko si Gamaliel, at saka ngayon, Nasa third year level na ako sa, ano, sa college, ano po. Saka parang malapit at saka abot kamay ko na halos yung pinag-pray ko no, na tinutupad talaga ni Lord yung mga prayer ko sa puso ko. Then sabi ko, sabi ko kay Lord, Lord, ang prayer ko Panginoon, kahit ano man trials and testings, nadaanan naman, nadaanan naman namin o madadaanan po namin, ang prayer ko Panginoon is, na hindi ako hindi ako ano hindi ako madidiscourage at hindi hindi ako panginoon tatalikot at hindi ako magsabi no naalala ko to eh and then I was telling God please do not find a replacement for me hello amen so sino yung madidiscourage ngayon ladies and gentlemen later pag magpipray po tayo i-renew po natin yun natin ang ating commitment sa Panginoon. I-re-renew po, magpipray po tayo ng renewal sa mga ano yung ano yung ini-entrust ni Lord sa buhay po natin. Na that cannot happen unto our lives where like Elijah, he become too much discouraged that God would have to replace him. May tao pa ho dyan? Yeah. Now, listen to this. To pursue God's direction, It takes full determination. Para pala, ma-fulfill po natin ano yung direction ng Panginoon sa buhay po natin, kailangan determinado talaga tayo. Pariyo ba sa kabayo? Ang tawag nun ng mga ano, ng mga kutsero, ano daw? Antipara daw po yun. E paano mo yung antipara? Kasi antipara, ganito, di ba antipara? E meron kasi mekanism, ilalagay nila sa kanilang, sa mga mata, ng mga kabayo, na hindi makakita yung kabayo dito sa kaliwa, dito sa kanan. Ang makikita lang ng kabayo ay doon sa kanyang unahan. 
Eh, may ano kasi, busal na nilalagay dito. So, ang makikita palagi na tulad talaga sa unahan. Hello, amen? amen. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng determination. Na hindi tayo madidistracted ano yung mga nangyayari po sa sides po natin. Kung hindi, ang palagi po natin nakikita is ano yung nasa unahan. Ano yung purpose, ano yung reason, ano yung motive na nilagay ng Panginoon sa isa't isang puso po natin. Na itinihan po ninyo ako? Amen. Okay, bibigyan ko kayo ng isang example. Sabi po sa Acts chapter, can we open our Bibles? 26, 19 to 21. Sabi po ni Pablo, O King Agrippa, I was not in disobedient to the heavenly vision, but declared first to those in Damascus, then in Jerusalem, and throughout all the region of Judea, and also to the Gentiles, that they should repent and turn to God, performing deeds in keeping with their repentance. For this reason, the Jew seized me in the temple and tried to kill me. Sabi ni Pablo, grabe yung mga pinagdadaanan kong mga kasakit. Pait sa buhay. Sabi niya ha. Sa, sa, sabihin ko na natin, pait ng buhay. Sino? Tama, tama mo yung Tagalog ko. Dami no? Pastor, maging sigutay nagpait sa buhay. Mag-iyak-iyak tayo ngayon. Huwag muna, huwag muna. Huwag tayo niyak ha. Sabi ni Pablo. And then, kausap kasi niya ang hari dito. Ang, pang ang pangalan ng hari is si Agrippa. He was Herod. The Agri uh, Herod Agrippa. Sabi po ni Sabi po ni Pablo, I was not disobedient of the heavenly vision. Nung kabataan pa kasi ni Pablo, di ba, nagsakay siya ng kabayo, nahulog siya, nakakita siya ng isang pangitain, tinawag siya ng Diyos, at siya po'y nag-commit sa kanyang buhay. Simula nun, hanggang siya po'y tumanda na, ang lahat na dinaranas niya sa kanyang buhay, sakit at pait ng buhay. Pero sabi ni Pablo, wala pong anuman ang siyang nakapagbago sa isip ko at sa kaisipan ko. Nasundin ko ano yung gusto ng Panginoon sa buhay ko. Kaya sabi niya, hindi ko dinidisobey yung heavenly vision na binigay ng Diyos sa buhay ko. Are you still there, Amen? Gaya mo ba? Gaya ko. Lahat po tayo may heavenly vision na binigay ng Diyos sa isa't isang buhay ko natin. Ang Diyos ang siyang naglagay niya mismo sa puso mo. Kapatid, kahit anuman ang mangyari, let me tell you, gaya ng kabayo, huwag kang pupunta doon sa kaliwa, huwag kang pupunta doon sa kanan. Dere-derecho lang. Amen? Amen. Palakpaka doon natin si Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you know what? This law works in all aspects and levels in life. Yung uh, consistency, what I'm sharing here is consistency. Sige daw, can we say daw the word consistency? Consistency. No, I didn't hear you. Can we say daw the louder? Say consistency. Consistency. Yung manatili ka ba? Huwag kang mag-give up. Huwag, huwag mong talikuran ano yung uh, ini-entrust ni Lord sa buhay mo. Ang tawag mong consistency, manatili ikaw kung saan ka nilagay ng Panginoon. At alam po ninyo, consistency is a law which works. Hindi lang yung, ano, yung spiritual things. Hindi lang yung unreligious things. But in all of the aspects of our lives. Meron isang tao, ang pangalan po niya, I, we know him. Uh, I made a little research about Christopher Columbus. Kilala natin si Christopher Columbus, di ba? He was a Jew. <laughs> Are you still there? Amen? Amen. Meron kasi ng ano, uh, life story ni Christopher Columbus na hindi ko nasulat sa history. Why Christopher Columbus was looking for a new land because he wanted to help his people. During the 1500 in Europe, the entire, the entire Jewish, Jewish people were under persecution. The powerful monarch kasi that was controlling the world at the time was either Portugal, Portugal and uh, and Spain. Now either of these uh, of these world empires were persecuting was persecuting rather uh, the European Jews. Many of them were 
beheaded. Many of them were killed. Many of them uh, were uh, were stripped by all of their worldly possessions. Mini persecute po yung mga European Jews sa Europe. Meron kung isang ano, isang explorer. Siya po ay Hudyo din. Ang kanyang pangalan po, si Christopher Columbus. And the Lord placed inside his heart na somehow, there is a new land out at the opposite side of the globe awaiting for them. Now this land can be a new land for the Jewish people to settle in there that they cannot undergo anymore persecution, religious persecution. Ang ginawa po ni, ano, ni Christopher Columbus, let me check if I wrote this there. Oh, okay. Wala pala. Okay. I just have it here in my uh, in my outline. Si Christopher Columbus, no? What he did, he went first to the king of Portugal. May tao pa ho dyan? Sabi niya, ang mundo po hindi flat. Diba? That was the belief of the people, no? Before uh, the discovery, no? Of uh, America and uh, the Philippines that the world was actually flat. It's a low, flat, uh, ano tawag nito? It's a flat terrain. Well, I, I, sa, pumunta po si ano, Christopher Columbus to the king of Portugal. Sabi niya, no, the earth is round. At sabi ni, ano, ni Christopher Columbus, there are still other lands that are not discovered. Will you sponsor me? I will make an expedition. And any land we will find, that will be yours. Sabi po ng king of Portugal, that cannot happen. You are crazy. And Christopher Columbus, when and approach King Henry, Henry VII of England, neither was that man in the recent either. Now for seven years, he regularly knocked back. The people, with, the people in power were opposed to the idea that the earth might be round. Bakit kaya, no? Pag may bagong bagay, galing sa Panginoon, lahat po ay hindi gusto. They opposed against it. And what happened? Ang last po na card ni Christopher Columbus, kasi si Christopher Columbus was a Portuguese. He was, he was not a... Uh, he was not a Spanish. Gaya ko ni Ferdinand Magellan, sila yung dalawa, hindi yung mga Spaniards. They were Portuguese. These people said no. So, Christopher Columbus went to Queen Isabella of Castile. And he said, the earth is round. There is this another land that is undiscovered. Land of plenty. If you will sponsor my expedition, I'm going to give that land to you. Now, si Queen Isabella believed Christopher Columbus. And Christopher Columbus sailed his expedition. And he hoisted, you know, there, there were three, three junks. Three junks who, who made for eight weeks, made a travel towards uncharted waters. They crossed the Atlantic and they reached you know, uh, the, uh, the continent of Americas. That is how Christopher Columbus found North America. And you know what? Kaya nga, sa America, at saka sa continent po ng North America, including uh, South America, there are so many Jews today because, because of the one intention of Christopher Columbus. May tao ho pa dyan, amen? Imagine na, for seven years, Yun po si Christopher Columbus, hindi po niya hininto, hindi po siya na discouraged, and he continued on until to every door that he knocked that said no, he eventually found one single door that opened it and said yes for him. Are you still there, isn't it? Now the lesson is this, ladies and gentlemen. Perseverance. I would like us to say the word Let's shout it! Perseverance! Come on! Perseverance! Pagpadayon, agad takuntinua kita, no? Hindi kita tang sulender. Never, never, and never give up until you get 
what you wanted. Amen. Palakpahan na natin ang Panginoon. God is good. And all the time. Meron kong tatlong temporaries that I call they are not permanent but they are only temporary that we will have to overcome them. Ang una, we, I call them as odds. What are odds? They are wrong things. Yung mga maling bagay ba na nangyayari sa buhay mo? For example, namatay, namatayan po tayo sa pamilya, wrong thing yun eh. Ang tawag nun, odds. Amen. Nabagsak ikaw sa exam. Wrong things yun eh. Kasi, kasi dapat, ano ka eh, papasa ka. Anong mangyayari pag nabagsak ikaw? Hindi, hindi na ako pupunta sa eskwela. Nabagsak kasi ako eh. Wala, no use, useless na magpunta ako sa school. Nabagsak kasi ako eh. Don't you? Sapagkat odds are only temporary. Amen. Amen. Isang araw, nagsulat ako sa Sambuaka today. Marami talaga ang nagre-reply. Marami talaga ang nagsasabi, Pastor. Ang ganda nun ah. Meron kasi ako isang kaibigan. Not from the church ah. Uh, meron siyang isang girlfriend noon na at saka itong girlfriend na to at the end nakipag-break sa kanya at hindi talaga niya maintindihan bakit remain siya sabi niya uh, am, am I not the best for this for this woman he is so hated what happened he became so much so much discouraged itong girlfriend na to later on nag-asawa imagine that 10 years silang hindi nakita sinulat ko yun sa Zambonga today After 10 years, itong brother na to pumunta sa isang mall. And unexpectedly, it was unplanned. Inside the mall, siya at ang kanyang ex nagkita sila. Hindi niya alam ngayon ano gagawin yung split of seconds ba? Alam niyo yung may mga ano, yung time suspension? Hindi niya alam. Yung split of seconds, bumalik sa kanyang, ano sa kanyang memory, ano yung pasakit, at saka yung mga gabi-gabi na umiiyak siya, bakit ako iniwan, hindi na iniwindihan, discouraged na discouraged siya, at saka parang bumalik yung buon sa kanyang puso ba, na gusto niyang sugbata na kanyang girlfriend. And then later on, naisip niya na hindi pala. Pinuntahan niya ang kanyang girlfriend, sinay kanya kanyang girlfriend. They exchange pleasant Chris, hi, hello, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> And then, after that, he told me, sabi niya, hindi ko talaga makalimutan yung pastor, sinabi ko sa kanya, good luck pala sa family life mo, sa bagong buhay mo. At saka, they parted ways, at saka, he turned on his back, he smiled, and he was very happy. Para baga, nakalimutan niya na ako yun eh. Para baga, ang dami daw tinik sa kanyang puso na nawala. Ang tinig doon sapagkat hindi niya mapatawad-tawad yung kanyang sarili at saka yung kanyang old girlfriend. At it just dawned on him, sabi niya, kung siguro kami ang nagkatuluyan, siguro problemang problema yung buhay ko ngayon. Sapagkat um, na-remember pala niya bakit sila nag-away palagi noon at saka nag-break. Sapagkat they were incompatible. Pag na-breakan ka gani, listen to me boy. Listen to me, sister. Pag nag, mag, may nag-break ka niya sa'yo, hindi ibig sabihin nun na nag-iba na ang mundo. Na wala na, last na. It's the end of the world. Ang tawag nun, uh, sabi mo, wrong things. Wrong things. Wrong things or odds are only temporary. Lilipas din yun. Amen? Amen? Kaya huwag kang ma-discourage. Hindi na ako pupunta sa church. Nga naman, na-insulto ba ka? Yaway ba ka? Hindi mo. Bakit hindi na ako pupunta sa church? Hindi na ako magbabasa ng Bible. Hindi na ako magbubuon again. Bakit man? Brinoy kasi ako ng aking girlfriend pa siya. <laughs> Labi kayo kung siyo ng buga, no? Sa iba, there are three things which are considered now as best friends in life. Best friend po natin, or best teachers in life. They are heartbreaks, 
empty pockets at saka failures. Sige, basahin ninyo. 1, 2, 3. Meron ka nito? Ha? Hindi yan palagi ganun. Lilipas din mo yan. Kaya nga, do not allow odds to discourage you. Amen! Palagpagan na natin si Lord. Okay. Secondly, ano yung mga temporaries, no? Uh, critics. Oh. Now listen to this. We have something in common with public figures. Mga simple tao lang po tayo, no? Pero yun daw mga politicians, yung mga mayayaman, yung mga kilala ba sa ating, ano, sa ating society? Yung mga public figures ba? Ikaw, ako, mga ordinaryong tao, meron daw tayong isang bagay na kapareho sa kanila. Mayaman ka man, o mahirap, bata ka man, o malaki, uh, babae, o lalaki ka man, lahat po talaga tayo, meron talaga tayong mga critics. Amen. Amen. Sino ba critics mo? Basta, kilala, kilala lang talaga. Taga saan? Taga saan? Kasama mo sa bisina, no? I... Hindi, yung kapitbahay ko kasi, Pastor, palagi ko talagang marinig sinasabihan ko na hindi ka talagang makatapos sa pag-aaral mo. Pikat pa. Magpa, magpaputol ko sa akong liog <laughs> na mag maging successful ka. Hindi ka talagang magiging successful. Yung, yung mga bagay ba doon na, bagay ba na ganun, ganun ang mga sinasabi? Critics. Hagang nandito pa tayo sa balat ng lupa, hindi talaga tayo mawawala ng critics. But listen to this. Here is a secret that I have learned from the Word of God. You and I are gonna outlive them. I-outlive ko natin ang ating mga critics. Amen? Amen? By the way, si Mayor Bing, kaibigan ko yun. <laughs> At every time magkasama kami, He's always, as he's always saying, the Pastor Burley is my most favorite pastors. A uh, mas most favorite pastor. Nalala po ninyo si Sister Rose? Ang um, nalala mo pa si Tita Rose? Si Tita Rose, best friend niya ni Ma'am Ben. Si, si, si Sister Rose, before uh, kinuha siya ng Panginoon, ano, uh, nagtrabaho siya ni Ma'am Ben, si Congresswoman, uh, si, ano, si Mayor pala, before siya naging Congresswoman at saka Mayor, Nung ano pa siya, kung si Alpha, palagi na yan nakikita ako. Nung namatay si Nikki, namatay si, ano, uh, si Sister Rose. Nakikita, she always heard me. And then she crossed her arm like this. At saka, she would approach me and tell me, Pastor, totoo yun. At nakilala na niya ako at that time, Pastor Burley. So ngayon, she's now a mayor. Now, sa totoo lang, pag ako po'y sumusulat yung sa column po, I cast my opinion. At minsan po, I criticize Mayor Ben. Hindi yun, sa, sa ano lang yun, sa, ano lang yun, sa newspaper lang yun. Uh, it's, it's something about, uh, for example, yung basura. For example, yung ano, yung hindi pa inopen yung, uh, tawag ito, yung IPT. Ano yung critic on that day sa, sa station namin yung isusulat ko. But you know what? Si Mayor Ben, despite of that, Sabi niya sa akin, pag makita kami, Pastor Burley, I read about it! Yun talaga, tapos pag beso-beso kami, tapos she would squeeze my hand and, and tell me, Pastor, you're still the best, you are still the best pastor for me. Mangha ako, no? Sabi ko, meron isang bagay ang mga politicians na wala tayo. Sila po ay sanay na sa critics. Hello, amen? Pag tayo pag kinikritisize po tayo, nandidiscourage tayo, ano po? Balat si Buyas tayo, di ba? Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, God would just like to encourage us that even criticism, even critics, we will have to outlive them. Everybody says amen for that. Palakpakan doon natin si Lord. And lastly, I will close in here. Uh, the last temporary thing is ourselves. Yung set po natin kasi Yung, yung self po natin, yung carnal uh, nature po natin, uh, or carnal, according, carnal nature is one of our enemies. 
Sabi po ng Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6, sabi doon na in all of our ways we acknowledge Him. Pag sinusunod kasi natin yung carnal desires po natin, nag nagpifail tayo, hindi ba? Hindi natin sinusunod ano yung guidance ni Lord, ano yung direction ni Lord, nagpifail tayo. But despite doon sabi ni God, kahit na yung carnal nature po natin temporary, huwag tayong madidiscourage. Kung, for example, ang sarili po natin, uh, nag, uh, you know, because of our carnality, because of our carnal nature, we fail. Don't you worry. God is giving you one another chance. Amen? Amen. So this morning, I'm, I'm just bringing this word which is coming from the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, God would like us to press on. Why? Because the battle is on for our favors. Amen? Amen. You receive it this morning? Palakpakan ko doon natin. Ayaw mo ito ngayon, ayaw mo yung manalangin. Sabi po natin si Lord, Panginoon, if you have discouragement today, sabi natin, Lord, 